Hello everyone, welcome to the presentation about the transformative storytelling technique as a potential approach to experiencing the self in virtual world. I'm Eli Petrovic, a researcher at the Depression Research Center of German Depression Foundation under Goethe University of Frankfurt. Today I will briefly reflect on the German Depression Foundation and the work being done in our research center. Following that, I will introduce the transformative storytelling technique and the role of merging fiction and reality to develop empowering and supporting mental health stories. I will demonstrate the practical application of the transformative storytelling technique in a sample of informal caregivers. Uh, and finally, discuss some implications for future work deriving from what we learned in our pilot trial. The Depression Research Center was founded around 10 years ago in cooperation with the German Depression Foundation and Deutsche Bahn Stiftung. Uh, the center concentrates on exploring neurobiological mechanisms underlying disorders and improving diagnostics. And it has also been a pioneer in projects on digital and mobile therapies for depression. Uh, this is the link of our research center where you can find out more about us, our team and also our ongoing projects. Uh, in the early 2019, we started working on the EU-funded project Entwine, aiming to support informal caregivers across Europe. And um, within this project, we synthesized numerous mental health support needs that have been widely neglected in the literature at that time. The transformative storytelling technique was developed in 2020 to enable addressing identity and meaning-making needs of informal caregivers. Transformative storytelling technique combines numerous approaches, such as narrative approach to therapy, where client narrate, narratives are being rebuilt to improve the self stories and uh, address the identity needs. Thematic approach is used to determine dominant uh, themes within the narratives following transformative storytelling a priori set categories that are in turn adapted to the Freytax pyramid and built into the story applying merge of fiction through perspective shift and reality through themes that act as triggers for identification in the story. The aim of transformative storytelling technique is to detangle complex or traumatic experiences following the narrative therapy principles, which is to use uh, clients' uh, narration stories. But in this case, transformative storytelling technique aims to detangle such experiences in target population to provide a new story structure using Freytag's pyramid and shift the perspective from the I to him or her to ensure emotional, emotional distance from the story, in other words, perspective shift, to also restructure the story into a cohesive flow, for, so having the beginning, middle and end, and to ensure incorporation of storytelling mechanisms such as identification, absorption, transportation into the story world, hence facilitating the acceptance of the more productive beliefs related to complex or traumatic experiences. The aspect of the merge of reality and fiction is particularly interesting. In our perspective paper, we isolate this uh, particular act and distinguish the storytelling mechanisms of the transformative storytelling technique by elaborating two-dimensional influences of the story achieved through the function of a listener viewer and the function of a story. And while the function of a listener viewer of the story is highly individualized, hence requiring target population, as it cannot be the universal experience for the technique application, the function of the story itself uh, contains several important mechanisms that enhance the effect of the story, uh, regardless of the individualization aspect. You can see this in the paper Beyond Influence published in Frontiers in Communication in the late 2022, where we address the merge of reality and fiction and the mechanisms of the transformative storytelling technique. In the practical application in informal caregiver population, we used the concrete steps of the transformative storytelling technique, which is collect the stories of the target population, 
Uh, in this case, we used a uh, small population of informal caregivers uh, caring for people living with Alzheimer's disease and dementia. We analyzed these stories through a priori set categories, and then we uh, fed those themes that we retrieved through our analysis into the Freytax pyramid, and then we wrote the fictional story incorporating the real life themes into the story, and we voice recorded the story. Uh, this is the outcome of our analysis after it has been incorporated into the Freytax pyramid. So you can see that there are themes in the exposition, rising action, climax, falling action, and the resolution, which are the uh, five steps of the Freytax pyramid. You can see that the story starts uh, in informal caregivers with a lack of choice, sense of duty, and financial issues. And then the rising action occurs when changes in routine, loss of social life, drop of personal care, changes in employment arrangements, family balance appear and many more. Uh, based on these themes, the fictional story has been created for informal caregivers. And in our pilot trial, this story has been voice recorded and delivered for testing to our informal caregivers who participated in the second phase of our project. I included here the audio story. So if you want, you can listen to the audio story. Um, now, the in the first uh, right figure, you can see the experience of happiness in our sample that starts from the lower point and gradually but significantly rises during the audio exposure. What is interesting is that the dramatic story structure follows this rising action of mountain type of arc where the climax point is depicting the most dramatic instance of the story. Uh, it was in most dramatic point that our participants experienced happiness. This has been measured with a Noldus reader. Uh, this can be arguably a potent indicator of identification with the story world. And in the second right figure, you may observe the level of surprise gradually dropping, which may indicate that the themes included indeed uh, signify the dominant caregiver experiences in their role and as such as uh, predictable or unsurprising for the listener. This is another good indicator. And uh, finally, one of the most uh, important mediating factors uh, across literature in experiencing adverse role related outcomes within informal caregiver role, which is subjective caregiver burden, uh, show the significant drop post audio exposure in our pilot uh, study, which can arguably indicate that a new, more productive perspective of a personal self story within the caregiving role has been adopted. Uh, this is the audio story. It was the Italian version of the story that was that you were able to see on the screen. And now the most relevant learning point uh, in this study, these points were obtained from participant feedback, supporting our initial doubt about the universality of the caregiver experience. Um, in fact, our transformative storytelling steps for obtaining the story were performed on a sample of informal caregivers of people living with Alzheimer's disease uh, and dementia, which our audio, while our audio story was assessed in pre-post audio pilot trial in a sample of general caregivers. And here is the first point that we learned, which is uh, targeting population is very important in developing and delivering the story. If the story has been developed with a specific population, uh, caring in this case for informal caregivers, caring for people with a specific illness, then the story also must be delivered to that specific population. Therefore, in our case, there was a relevance in the context of illness. Uh, next is that the conscious versus unconscious adoption of productive beliefs was observed in pre-post results uh, in subjective caregiver burden, but when participants provided feedback about the transformative storytelling audio story, the uh, they expressed particularly that the story did not uh, influence them in any way, even though the measures showed something different. Um, interestingly, fiction had no role in perception of the story as participants uh, 
post audio exposure discussed the characters of the story as if real life people are involved. Uh, they were also offering them potential uh, solutions to their experiences and their issues and giving advices to the researchers that was collecting data that he should uh, give to the fictional character in the story. Even when it was shared with the participant that the story structure was made in such a way that the story is fictional, even though it, it, it incorporates the themes of a real life, the participants, they decided to neglect this part and continue uh, with discussing the issue of the fictional character and comparing to the issue of their own. Um, and this point relates to the fact that with the ethical considerations uh, over manipulated story contents that are used for general public, as the storytelling is widely used through social media, podcasts, news media, marketing, we urge for establishing better uh, systems in place that will mandate more transparent, uh, more transparency over contents that apply uh, the type of um, manipulation to the story or that use particular techniques that are developed, especially in psychology for manipulating the or influence the participants or the viewers. Finally, after these has have been set, we are suggesting that it would be very relevant to try and test the transformative uh, storytelling technique in virtual reality where we could give opportunity to the participant to uh, meet those fictional characters or basically observe themselves in a third person perspective and observe their experience when experienced in a third person perspective by another one. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Uh, you can connect with me via Twitter. Uh, you can also see me on ResearchGate. And this is my email address in case you have any further questions or you would like to start a conversation or collaborate. Please let me know. Thank you very much.